Hi there. This is Zita here again. I would like to share my knowledge of PTCB with you and go over the DEA number and formula. So what is a DEA number? A DEA number is a series of numbers assigned to a health care provider, such as a medical practitioner, dentist, veterinarian, allowing them to write prescriptions for controlled substances. Legally, the DEA number is solely to be used for tracking controlled substances. The DEA number, however, is often used by the industry as a general prescriber number that is a unique identifier for anyone who can prescribe medication. The DEA formula allows pharmacy staff to verify if a DEA number is valid or not. Many pharmacies have computer systems that verify a DEA number automatically when you type a prescription. When a DEA number turns out to be invalid during the automatic verification process, pharmacists or technicians must call the DEA office to verify why the DEA is invalid and the controlled substances prescription cannot be filled under this prescriber's license. Some pharmacy staff have to use the formula and verify the old-fashioned way. And you need to know this formula for the PTCB exam. So the DEA formula is as follows. You have a DEA number as an example, uh, A, B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3. So you would take the first, the third, and the fifth number and you add that together. Then you take the second, the fourth, and the sixth number, you add that together and you times that by 2. The result from the first sum, you add it to the results from the second sum and then you get a total of 33. So the last digit of that third sum is 3 and the last digit of the DEA number in this example is 3. Therefore, they are the same and the DEA number is valid. So to sum it up, the DEA formula, in this case with the example of a DEA number of AB1234563, um, the first step is going to be to add the numbers the first, the third, and the fifth, and in this case you get equals to 9. Step 2 is to add the second, the fourth, and the sixth. It turns out to be 12, and then you times it by 2, so your total is 24. Then you get the 9 and the 24 added together will give you 33. The last digits are the same, therefore the DEA is valid. So there you have it. This is the DEA formula and I have color coded it for you so it makes it a lot easier. Since I am a visual learner and I kind of have a feeling that a lot of people are, it's easier when you visualize it this way and colors help me memorize. So I'm passing this on to you and I hope that this helps. So um, I really would appreciate it if you like this to please rate it at the bottom and click that you liked it and then also leave me comments that would be really nice if you do I would like to hear from you and good luck studying thank you